Nutrition Depot, your fitness fuel. Welcome to the second part of Natural Bodybuilding 101, everything you need to know. I still have the same guests here, <laughs> working overtime. <laughs> I love the cliffhanger that we had earlier because we didn't really delve into nutrition that much yet. So this episode, we're going to go straight into it. How do you guys adjust your macronutrient intake from different phases of your training and ensure that you're meeting your macronutrient needs while you're following a strict diet. So before we answer that, I wanted to ask, what are your macros right now? And at what phase in training are you right now? Um, I'm a bit all over the place right now. Um, I'm, I'm cutting, but it's not really like a super strict cut. So my calories are anywhere between like, okay, so we start first usually with calories, like what's your total calories? That's how I do it before I set my macros. Um, right now, I'm between like 1,800 to 2,000 calories. Protein for me, because I'm not super high on the protein, um, I'm usually somewhere around like 100 grams long. It's, it's enough for just for like maintenance purposes, like 100 to 120 grams of protein. For reference, I weigh like 160-ish now. Um, actually, 100 might be a bit low, <laughs> but it's fine. <laughs> Um, fat and carbs, medyo naglalaro yan. Um, I don't really think about it so much. Um, basta within siya nung 1,800 to 2,000 cows. And you're on the maintenance stage right now? I'm, I'm, I'm on a chill cut. Chill cut? Yeah, chill cut. Like nothing too aggressive. Um, not chasing a specific goal in terms of weight loss. No specific na target weight either. I'm just trying to cut a little bit. Um, kasi I felt like I was being too heavy na for the off-season was a bit detrimental to my training so now that i'm cutting i feel better um kind of ready to go again with the whole massing phase stuff so this is pretty steady for you right now when you're closer to that stage how does the diet change from there um if i'm uh, competing then it will definitely be significantly lower and more <laughs> strict how, how low <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, so for the last season, what I did was like a major straightforward just so I kind of just went straight into the deep end of the deficit. Um, Boa back to around like 1.5 to 1.6, something like that. And I just kind of rolled with that. I, I think other approaches might be better, the slower approach, but I went aggressively. Um, protein around that time was around like 140, 120 to 140 grams. So again, not a lot. Um, just enough to maintain and I think my training and my recovery was supporting it enough that I didn't need to eat more protein. Um, I can't remember the exact number of fat and carbs but in general fat was low. Fat was around like 30-ish on the high end na and sometimes. Parang 20 to 40 grams of fat means on 50 um, and then the rest of carbs. Na. How about you? Eh? Currently right now I'm eating around like 4,000. 4,000? <laughs> Every single day. So it's That's why like, he's smiling all the time. <laughs> That's why he can do high volume. That's after, why. And actually, can I keep on the reaction of Bawa Tao's NJ? Medyo prep brain. Na, oh, so cigarette medyo shit. Like, exactly. I'm going to buy out of those. So 4,000 calories, like, maybe around 180 to 200 grams of protein every day. Because I'm medyo mailing naman talaga ako sa proteins. Mm -hmm. Pero, like, I think naman... once you get to higher calories, well, yeah, mas manhasha kayo rin. Oh, you like, go lang, go lang. Yeah, yeah. Adding carbs and yeah. carbs and carbs. It yeah. actually hurts after a while. 4K. 180 to 200 protein. And then yung fats ka naman is 70 to 100. And then the rest is carbs na lang. Yun yung remaining. So, right now, medyo yun yung nagiging problem ko, actually. It's too high na yung pagkain. So, so I was talking. Bumibigat. And hindi, hindi siya mumibigat. Like, uh, I'm around like 84. It goes 85 and then it goes back to 84, 83. So, like, gumagana na siya. And then I talked to Grant, like, one time. We went to BGC. Uh -huh. Nag Nakakita kami doon. Like, bro, ano na yung next yung gagawin? Sabi ko, I'm eating around 4,000. Sabi niya, Oh, wala lang ako. Wala. <laughs> Pinung ka na ng juice. Force feed mo na yung sarili mo. Sabi ko, okay. Sabi ko, bro, sa akin, hindi na gumagana. Like, sabi ko, like, doon na ako na yung stress. Hindi na sa training. Like, I'm eating until 1 a.m. 2 a.m. for the sake lang na, cows, yeah, para lang na. Is your mouth so sick of chewing food now? And it's more like drinking. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, oh, big shakes. Oh, he's ka. just chugging stuff. Na na. Nah, like, usually, <laughs> even lemonade. For the sake lang oh, na yeah. makount yung calories. Or like juice. Like Coke yeah. regular. Coke regular something. <laughs> as, long, as long as you hit the calories. But yeah. of course, like I always follow lang kasi yung diet na flexible diet. Kaya hindi yung ganun ka strict. And like I always do 80-20 rule na like 80% of the school foods, 20% yung mga junk. Kasi of course, baka nai-hit mo yung macros mo. 
Pero yung mga micros mo, like, baka mamaya diabetic ka na, high blood ka na. Kasi, ah yes, gumaganda yung katawan mo eh. Kasi syempre, as long as you're eating your macros naman, magiging lean ka, or like, mag-bulk up ka. Pero yun nga, sobrang napapabayaan. Like, yeah. baka mamaya, full sugar na yung kinakain mo, ganun. So, yun yung balance. For me, ah, like, that's a perfect balance. 80-20. May, ano, oh, may intra-workout ka ba sa... Ano? So, right, right, oh, right now pala, while working out, pang intra-workout ko, ah, uh, Meron kami like super carb, I'm using like from Nutrabio. And maybe Targo then for for the sake lang na ma-insert mo yung carbs. <laughs> kasi no But joke, it's so bang hirap. Well, I mean performance wise ako. Ay, actually, oh, kasi like when you're working out, sometimes like even you do pre-workout, tapos uh minsan si dice down din. Eh. Yeah, lalo na pag 3 hours. Lalo na pag 3 hours ka kasi imagine nag-sa like, cellphone ka. Yeah, yeah, so yun, yeah. uh, I drink lang talaga. And then when you drink yung mga intra carb, intra carb talaga yung para I more carb drink talaga sure. Like around like 50 Uh, jumps of carbs and the intake. So yun lang. And then, mag-feel mo talaga yung difference. I yeah, think it's a good, it's an easy, easy, easy way, way to fit add up, extra yeah. calories. Yeah. And hindi, yeah, hindi ko lang sure kung ako lang ba na para mabilis yung effect ng mga intra-carb. Super. Like, siguro like fast acting talaga siya. So like, when you drink parang, ah, okay, replenish yun. Know, like, they work out na agad. So, easiest, easiest way for me talaga na uminom na mga intra-carb. Like, like bitter go. Tsaka hindi mo maiisip kasi you're working out. Diba? Yeah, and most important thing, madali siya ang ino- masarap. <laughs> masarap siya. <laughs> it's like, masarap, a, tr- it's yeah. like a treat for you. Yeah, masarap, masarap siya. Anong flavor? Eh, bitter go. Usually, it's mga umiikot lang siya eh. Sa ganyan lang. Tapos, uh, one thing rin pala nakadagdag sa akin, pag medyo hirap na ako sa calories, protein bar. Yeah. <laughs> no sure. joke. And it's yummy. Sure. Kasi like, any time yeah. of the day, pwede mo na yung sikasin. Yeah, yun lang ini-insert ko. Kasi parang, uh, usually, yun talaga. Parang, okay. So what, what does the intra carb do while you're exercising? Does it pump your muscles? That it mm. uh, it keeps you replenished mm-hmm. during. Mm-hmm. But then we're, we're working out because you, you deplete the glycogen of muscles as mm-hmm. well. And like, it's really the parang tulong niya yung intra carb a uh, quicker uh, way to replenish the glycogen. A quick, ano siya, quick absorbing carbs compared to yung, uh, yung mga wheat bread. Sa blood mo, bloodstream mo, you have um, glucose sa nagsisirkin. Sometimes pag na-digest na yung food mo, wala pang, pag nawala na yung, yung um, glucose sa blood mo. You can't, mas, ma- mas mabilis iti gamitin for energy if you have glucose sa blood. Or, yeah, especially helpful for you. Runners, yeah, mga runners. Oh. So you also take it while you're running. You're running. Very you're important, lifting. actually. Oh, yeah. Most important. Marathon. Uh, you, you, you have to take. Chills. You have to take. And you you have, have, there's no choice. You yeah, have to. You have to. If you want to <laughs> perform good, then not, you, know, you have a good experience in our salaries. Well, yeah. Do you really need and, to like, like, yeah. you need oh, to like, oh, usually my routine 30, every 30 minutes, talaga. I have, um, yung one gel, um, shout out, nutrition tipo. Yung gel, sarap, pa sarap. Like, my favorite one is the chocolate flavor. Um, there, there are yung g- energy gels na may electrolytes. Meron din yung pure carbs lang. So sometimes minimix ano, kasi sometimes kung sobrang dami ding electrolytes, you don't actually need it. Sayang lang. So parang yun, it's 20 grams of carbs per ano per sachet. So I take it every 30 minutes. Pero more of pang endurance eh. if you're into bodybuilding. Wala pa akong nakita bodybuilding nag electrolyte ka na. No, 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 there's sipping. Powder, they're uh, sipping. Super carb pro. We have time to hold on to uh, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually, kasi. Mm. <laughs> They can relax. <laughs> uh, but basically, the same. Actually, kung, wait, wait, you can actually take energy gels yeah, naman. Yeah, no? yeah, Pero parang, hindi lang siya. Am I tumbler? Same, same. So, Andrew, what's your macronutrient? Oh, no. Nainggit ako talaga. So, actually, my... Ano, I'm now uh, yung macros ko yung aggressive na or calories ko um, I started my prep kasi January so around since I have more cal- um, expenditure due to running I run kasi f- ano, 40 to 50 kilometers per week so if I don't eat enough carbs um, ngayon ano na 10 na lang to 50 wala na mababa na talaga Um, so, I, yung calories ko, meron talaga high days and low days. So, like, yung high day ko, sometimes, sa long runs ko, 30 kilometer run, 3K. That's my deficit, 3K calories. So, carbs ko nun, rip. 400, 500 siguro yun. But now, like, let's talk about now, na 1.6 calories na lang ako. Um, and regardless of I have a run or not, I'll try, I, I, I'll try as much as possible to stick to 1.6. So, sobrang hirap talaga, mental battle. So, yung carbs ko, lowest ever na na-experience ko, it's 110 carbs. And usually, yung protein ko is around 1 gram per pound of my body weight. So, since I, 
mga 140, 150 ako back then, mga ganun. So, 150. Ganun yung carbs ko. Ay, yung protein. But now, I'm consuming more protein. Ang reason, I'm consuming 200 grams of protein kasi more sa satiety talaga. <laughs> kasi protein is more filling than carbs and fat. And I tend to, uh, ay, yung cravings ko mas mababa. Uh, and good thing, yung whey protein talaga, it, it really helps me kasi parang all protein yun at the same time para I'm like eating I'm eating a dessert yeah. talaga so buti na lang kasi I can't imagine myself eating chicken breast and tuna na lagi <laughs> para ganun so uh, 200 actually, grams protein oh 200 grams so I don't recommend it for <laughs> ano like and hindi naman masama unless it's too much protein talaga like siguro times 3 of your body weight in pounds doon na masama pero ay, hindi rin naman masyadong masama. Pero, oh, hindi depende. Oh, oh, hindi lang necessary. It's more like magugutong ka lang. Like, Sayang lang you know. din. Tsaka, it takes away, I think, from like your performance kasi nagbabawas ka ng carbs. So, yun. One six calories. So, specific macros. One, at 200 grams of protein, 110 grams of carbs, and then 40 grams of fat. In natural bodybuilding specifically, it's so important to hit your macros, not just your calories. Because it, it changes your body composition, right? So when you're closer to your weight stage, do you lower that carb significantly and fat and just focus on the protein for satiety and also to stay lean? Because more than just the body composition itself, it also affects your performance. Um, so for me, personally, when I'm prepping, I will actually, you know, I'll keep my protein a bit lower because I need to keep my fat at a reasonable level, um, just enough for me at least to maintain like my brain <laughs> what not you know <laughs> like hormone health and everything the best yeah. I, i stick to at least like a minimum ng fat um carbs ako i'm like very performance heavy in terms of training like i will really base my entire prep on how well, well i perform in the gym if i see it tanking then i know it's not a good sign but so i try to maintain like my carbs at a medyo mas mataas so i i stay around like 200 ish plus uh, the entire prep Protein, I can lower a little bit, knowing I will recover and knowing I can lift properly, you know. Um, but I think you know, some for you guys, parang it's different, you know. Sometimes it's a uh, you go, sometimes you drop your carbs, you um, know. Like for me, because like for example, uh, fats, I think we're the same. Fats yeah, usually because I think low. I no, because like for for bodybuilders, yeah, like fats is nine calories, nagit like it will take yeah. up your you most of your calories. The satiety is gone, yeah. man. So it's more on like we're taking it because of the hormones or yeah, 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 yeah. talaga. And then for protein, fat sa akin, it's more on bit of balance masya. If like I always hit like one gram per pound, but if like mas malapit na yung show, it's tend to get higher. But there are days even malapit na show, but medyo yung cravings mo for carbs to matas na. So do mo medyo bit baba for that day lang, like yeah. kababa with protein when then carbs tend to get higher. So I think yun yung parang difference lang. So uh, based uh, person to person, iba talaga. So mm. Yeah, yeah, figure out the approach na like to me iba rin. And depends din kasi sa they all get you there, diba? Uh, you know. Like so <laughs> they all like uh, you know, I think we, the, the entire natural bodybuilding thing is a matter of like everything kind of works. Um it depends on like how you look at it and which you want to apply, which you are more comfortable with uh, applying, diba? Like there's always a general rule for everyone, but hindi siya para sa lahat. Ibebase mo lang siya kung ano yung plan mo for that specific rule na One gram per pound of protein. It's a range. Eh. Yeah, it's a range. Lang, man. Shift, you need to find lang talaga what will work for you. To, to add lang, uh, when you're cutting, yung, kasi na-mention nila, no, sayan, like, we have more room to enjoy food. Ganun. When you're cutting, if you want to have a good experience, parang how you feel throughout the day, kailangan strategic ka with the quality of food na pinipili mo. Like, kasi, like as I mentioned, yung sa protein, ano talaga, nasa nakakabusog siya, parang, kailangan, yeah, you have to meal prep talaga. Parang kaya naman, there are people who've done it na parang very flexible sila. But now na I'm deeper sa prep ko, nagiging less flexible. Actually, yung mga meals ko talaga very, it's the same na ngayon. What's uh, your favorite meal? Ah, uh, my favorite. And I'll ask you too. out and my pre-bed meal. Yeah, so, go, go. Um, oatmeal and whey oats. Oh, yeah, sarap talaga. Vanilla and oats with ano cinnamon and my fruits ang sarap talaga like that's my dessert na <laughs> <laughs> or something yeah, yeah you can relate diba I yeah. heard you 
like the cake batter nutri yeah. yeah. batter. Yeah, grabe. Like the new flavor of ano talaga nutri masarap. Talag. And then at night naman, um, I don't uh, eliminate oats na kasi parang I don't need the carb na. Oh, so and wala well, very limited na talaga yung carbs ko. So, yun parang two scoops of whey and then almond milk din na lang. Yun na lang. <laughs> and Yan, yeah, actually, yung frozen blueberries yung ano ko ngayon. Uh-huh. Like, yun yung something sweet ko. And then, I add salt. When you add salt pala to, eh, to your pre-workout meal, like, it pump, yung flavor lalabas siya. Elevate so, the- nutrition, <laughs> uh, diet tip, salt, when you add salt, <laughs> adds flavor. I don't know, brings up the flavor talaga. Diba? <laughs> On the flip side, what's your favorite pre-workout meal. and post-workout meal? Your favorite? Right now? Right now. Your 4, In your 4,000 calories. 4, calories. 4, so after it, that was more like uh, I always eat like more simple junk food. Actually, salad. in the like, meals, yun. Bro, like, di ko nashana be bilang to be honest. Like, <laughs> once I see food, okay, guys. Like, even like in simple pop tart. Before I work out, in pop tart I eat, or then one protein bar, and then I drink whey. Then for the sake lang na medyo hindi naman puro carby, medyo may protein din ako. Cause sometimes for puro carbs na ako masulog. May ipun na yung ibang source mo like fats and protein. Hindi mo na may eat. So I tend to eat like yung mga ngayon medyo calorie dense food na talaga. Like sugary. Hindi <laughs> dapat. But, but I get it. Kasi diba sometimes you're, you're so gonna hard you're gonna ng bread or whatever. May, so may ano na yun eh. May trace protein. May trace fat mm. na siya. So kaka-stack up po ng like you stack up na siya. Sa, like even hindi mo siya tinatarget. Like for example, I'm, like first of all, like usually pag mababa, bread is carb source. Mm, but if example. you're bulking, oh. if you're gonna eat like 10 slices of wheat bread for a single serving, gonna rack up yung protein. protein so now, now your actual protein is like it's getting higher uh, and higher. So, I mean, kaya rin minsan kailangan mo ito. It adds talaga. Like uh-huh. your real high quality protein. So after, awesome. like right now, ang um, ginagawa ko sa like, diet is more hate whatever I want. So I'll count it siya. Pero like, so big, actually it's more ambiguous sa akin yung whey protein right now. Kasi usually I do four scoops na lang. Like, I, I always eat na all of my carbs, um, fats. And then, like, check mo sa my fitness pala to check mo. Oh, protein na lang, 100 grams. Okay. <laughs> four in scoops one day. Yeah, yeah. In one, in like one. the thickest <laughs> protein shake in the world. For the sake of the reach mo yung, ano, yung protein. So, yun. Overall, okay naman. So, pre-workout, yun nga, uh, sugary. Post-workout, dun ako medyo rice. Uh, rice mean na ako. Yung medyo balik sa normal. Yeah, balik sa normal. It was more on the bad side. And I think, after workout, naghahanap tagaw na savory. Like, dun ka lang gutom ako. Oo, oh, dun ako lang gutom. <laughs> That's the only time in the day. <laughs> What's your favorite protein powder flavor? Oh, right now? Yeah. I'll be honest, like, I think same kami cake butter. But I tried yung uh, choco, uh, chocolate uh, macaroons right now. It's a new flavor, like sobrang solid. Kasi, so, hindi siya boring eh. Like, when you drink it, meron siya cocoa bits. Oh. Like, coconut bits. Coconut wow. bits. Uh, try ko. Like, sobrang okay. May texture siya. <laughs> May texture siya. <laughs> Curious kami. <laughs> 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 Naglalo. Yeah, yeah, sobrang okay. Sobrang okay. okay. Alam mo, okay. basta ko sa calories. <laughs> well, good. Yeah. I think there's, meron ako, sure, well, may isa akong kay Dingy, like, na pinatikim ko yung uh, whey from Nutrabayo. Sabi ko, oh, but too much yung protein we're right now. Kasi like, flavor-wise, it's good. Kasi before, kasi like, uh, whey protein, hindi siya, yeah, hindi naman ganun niya. Hindi siya masarap. Like, I'll be honest, hindi masarap yung mga dating. Like, that, no, as good as now. That, like, oh, uh-huh. like, right now, yung flavor, like, I can say that parang okay. It's, like, it's creative. Flavor. Oh, creative flavors. Na hindi na parang chocolate, vanilla, like vanilla caramel, like uh, pistachio, even pistachio. Meron na rin. Like, ice cream, ice cream, no? Oh, and then you can make a lot of other naman ice homemade ice cream using uh, whey recipes. Yeah. Recipes. Yeah. yeah. For granted, to know. work out and post workout. <laughs> Grant, to Wong, Wong, please go to Wong. What are your faves? <laughs> and it's so exciting to ask them these questions because when they think natural bodybuilding, they think, okay, kamote, Kam- egg, yeah, yeah, yeah. chicken breast, no seasoning. <laughs> and we're talking about like, oh yeah, I eat pop tarts. <laughs> if it's in, oh, I like eat twenty pop tarts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we're breaking barriers yeah. here. But I think like sorry, yun din pa rin parang medyo advantage ng natural bodybuilding oh, yeah, yeah, compared yeah, yeah. to like uh, enhanced bodybuilding. Natural body reading must forgiving sila sa food source. Kasi yung pinafactor out mo lang is like protein, fats, and carbs. Uh, I mean, other... well, we still try to keep it a bit on the Yeah, but like, it's more unforgiving talaga mm-hmm. sa atin. Eh. Kasi, like, like your you... organs will yeah. not. Yeah, like, you know, when you go to that side, 
medyo marami ka nung binabantayan like your organs your even diabetic just, cholesterol even just, water, even just the water retention yeah. so Big water part. retention the like hormones so yeah yun yung main advantage and that's why you can see more natural bodybuilders to do flexible dieting talaga compared to like uh, enhanced uh, bodybuilders i mean still rigid you know, like in your in your mm. case it's still it's still like a rigid structured diet mm. it's not as you know, you're not you're not having to do the same meal every day. Mm. Like you can change your vegetable source, or you can add more sodium if you wanted. What is the importance of timing your meals and supplements in your workouts? Meal wise, my schedule has been kind of weird, about because I've been I've been working now with like F and B. So I'll, usually for lunch and dinner, I have, I'm working. So I used to be so structured with my meals. Na I could have like four meals. Na same meal time every day. Um, and it's based on like my training schedule and everything. Now I have to, I have to like play around with it. Um, because I'm busy on lunch, busy on dinner. So what I'll do now is just like I'll have three meals. That's it. Um, and my 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 breakfast I'll have at like seven a.m. My lunch, oddly enough, I have to come in before the store opens. So about ten thirty, come on out on lunch, which is I I don't think most people do that. Um, <laughs> so ten thirty, and then I will lift na by two p.m. Paganon, but. It's it's not ideal, right? It's not ideal. Um, if I were being more, you know, mas maayos yung schedule, if I could follow a more ideal setup, um, what I used to do before was I will have my first meal, um, like a big ass breakfast, and then I will follow that up with a workout sometime between like mga nine a.m. until mga twelve ish, and then I will have a big lunch after. So that big lunch will act as my post workout meal, um. And then and take a normal snack and then maybe dinner. You know. So must, as much as possible, if we're talking about structuring meals, I will prefer to put the biggest meals um, before and after training, specifically after training, which is, diba, you can explain it earlier, it's after his workout. For you guys, do you also factor in when you should eat the meals or you should just hit those macros any time of the day? For me, I think this common exception really is like, you need to eat. Ito, I mean, let's come on. Yeah, you need anabolic, anabolic window that you need to eat like 30 oh, grams, yeah. like 25 to 30 grams within 30 minutes to an hour. Yeah. Na kada ako mayo. I think there's some truth truth behind it. If talagang you're working out fasted, like mm-hmm. tipong wala ka talagang. I mean, you work out for two hours, tapos fasted ka kagising mo, you work out again. So I think that's the best way na. Drink like quick protein, like quick I mean, something. I guess it's just good practice. Now you have a meal after, not necessarily. Mm-hmm. Within the, and it's not necessarily a certain yeah. amount of protein, but I think it's okay. Sha, but oh, yung as long as like I'm fasted, like I'm tipong first thing in the morning, the quick workout ka, and then for two hours, you sleep eight hours. Of course, ten hours ka nang walang any Just protein. Pa. I mean, I mean, if good ka pa, I think that's the na like factor yung mga let's say anabolic pino. But it doesn't matter. Kasi iba too much eh, na parang siya sabi nila. Kailangan kasi hindi ka lalaki. For as long as you're, you're eating before and you have like enough protein naman or like you have amino acids to work it out, I think hindi naman siya problem. Usually, yun lang siya misconception. Mis- so, total problem. protein talaga. Yeah, at the end of the day, at the end of the day. Most important. Yeah. Regardless of ano. Parang ano lang, di ba? Parang we're, we're trying to balance it yeah. out. Lang, Actually, there's a, ano, there, there's a try behind it na parang like uh, yung meal timing is nasa highest pa na most important. Like, ang important thing talaga for bodybuilding is like Nutrition, it's up your macros and then the like training macro, calories yeah. macro. Like your meal timing, sobrang like less important. That, that's if like, you're just trying to like milk out the elite. Level. Yeah, like elite level. So, yeah. so it depends. Like for example, if really competitive, na nasa Olympia level ka, exactly. like of course even like marginal difference, kuko hindi mo na yun. Yeah, yeah. But like for a lifestyle, na hindi ka naman magkompete, it really doesn't like. So I mean, wala kang choice. Eh. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's that's your schedule, that's your daily life schedule. You have to work around that for your meal times, and then you work around your workout. People usually say in bodybuilding, every three hours you have to eat. So that's that's not the case always here. I find that to be counterproductive at times. Mm-hmm. Actually, um, when you have, let's say we have tiny calories. Mm-hmm. Let's say nasa one five ka na lang, and you have to eat five. Let's say like you have to eat like five times. Imagine only eating like. An egg. <laughs> okay. So, but, <laughs> kumain ka na nga, mas nagutan ka pa. Uh-oh. So, ideally, uh-huh. sometimes you have to find that balance where it's like, okay, this is a meal that's big enough for me mm. to feel satiated. Um, and then, that that is what I will follow. That is my minimum number of calories per meal. 
Mm, I'd rather be full yeah. and have plenty of snacks throughout the day. I'm with you with that. In terms of hydration, how important is it in your overall performance? Can water intake make you bloat that much? I think it's, there's a if there's a big difference. Like when like, you say like so, balance. Yeah, so especially good. if you're eating like uh, at home, you cook your own meal, like uh, constant lang yung soju mo. And then when you go outside, eating like because fast food, spike soju, like that spike na soju. I think there's the reason yeah, yeah. that if water. You your, if you keep your hydration on the same level, but your uh-huh. sodium spikes. And doing like a problem. But like ang soju mo even like sobrang high, and then your water is like same level lang. I think. I'm gonna match kasi le. So if I have higher sodium meals, I'll have more water, um, and then that's that usually like keeps the fluctuation the same. But water in itself will not cause you to bloat. Actually, you definitely need it. Um, I think even especially for prep, no. But uh, well, aside from the running, but pag prep, parang do magdami yung water intake mo, parang na pampabosol. Yes. Oh, because sometimes yung hunger, ay parang bakit may feel ka na hung- hungry ka. But sometimes di mo alam, you're thirsty lang pala. So I make sure when you're I'm prep na kung may nafeel ako dito gutom talaga to dito wow parang ganun and baka gutom lang din <laughs> oh, baka I mean parang ganun and then uh yung, sa prep ko pala na ako, I don't really pay attention to how much water I take basta I make sure that I uh whenever I pee may light, light yellow yung color yun yung parang what I always <laughs> when you pee oh <laughs> kasi masama din if it's pure white yeah diba? yeah and yeah. You know that you're dehydrated. Pag extreme yellow yung i ano mo, so I make sure na dun ko malalaman na I'm hydrating. Tapos or, ano parang more or less routine na lang siya. Like ah, ito yung um water na kaya ko ng intake for my body. Parang ganon. So it's a misconception that water makes yeah. you bloat. <laughs> We talked a little bit about our protein love for Nutribio. Our favorite flavor. I wanted to ask you what your supplement stack is on and off season. I'm always a creatine monohydrate guy that stays in year round. Um, Pre workout also because I'm really good at the stimulants. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'll have like pre workout. If I don't have pre workout, I'll have like two double shots of espresso over ice. Um, so again, lots of caffeine necessary for me. Um, other than that, parang wala na rin. Maybe some melatonin uh, on days where I feel like I didn't expend enough energy and I, I, I know I'll be restless before bed. Uh, protein, I will have it occasionally. I still enjoy my food right now. I can imagine when I don't enjoy my food, pag sobrang taas na calories, <laughs> or pag sobrang pagod na ako to prep my own meals, like when I'm on prep, um, then usually my my whey protein consumption goes up. But uh, for just my regular daily life, it's usually just creatine and pre-workout. Hey, so, sa akin naman, like, uh, off-season right now, since, like, sobrang high ng food, it's more like creatine, like, never siyang nawala. Same community grant. Creatine, and then pre-workout. Actually, mas more creatine and pre-workout naman talaga. Whey, like, talaga yung pag hindi na kaya. Yeah, like, four scoops of whey. Uh, as long as it's good tasting. Yeah. <laughs> as long as good. So and then pre workout man, uh, there's two types of sound uh, first yung uh, with the steam, or the yung non steam and then yung isang uh, pump on sun. Cause like especially like minsan busy ka, and then pag gabi na siya, may ayaw na mag take ng let's say like full full blast na free workout. So I option na dun sa mga steam free. Para dun stand dun parin yung pump. At the same time, medyo ganado pa rin mag workout pa rin. Yeah. Ang problem kasi pag ka hindi mo tinake yung mga uh, non-steam tapos sa gabi ka nag-take until like 4 a.m. So, uh, personal experience ko, until 4 a.m. gising ako. And then like you need to wake up at 6 a.m. So, ako. so there's two types ako lagi ng uh, pre-workout. So non-steam and then uh, yung isang may steam. Tapos whey and then creatine. Then during my um, competition season or like uh, on prep, usually lumalakas ako sa mga micros talaga. Kasi yung mga micros like for example, ashwagandha, vitamins, multivitamins. Na I think yun yung kadalas ng nag-ignore like especially kung mababa ba yung calories kasi right Yeah, kasi right now I'm eating around like 4000 so I know na na-hit ko yung mga micronutrients but of course going I go as low as like 1 2 before medyo aggressive talaga so like typical cucumber chicken like kamote so syempre yung <laughs> spinach shred, shredded cabbage to get shredded <laughs> so syempre like kulang ka na talaga sa micronutrients yeah so other people tend to focus more on macros, macronutrients. Pero sa micros, like yun nga, vitamin C, 
or like uh, vitamins B and other pa, mga ashwagandha na pwede makatulong sa'yo. Yun yung mga hindi nila tinitake na for me mas important kasi macronutrients, you can get it naman to other food sources talaga. Pero yung certain micronutrients, hindi mo talaga siya makakuha. So, lumalakas ako mag uh, supplements talaga na pag nakaprep talaga in terms of micronutrients. For my supplement stack naman, na actually nadagdagan siya when I started prepping kasi para for me mas important kasi para I'm dialing in now with my diet so parang to give me extra help parang I um, add on supplements talaga so but I'll, usually pag tinitingnan ko yung supplements parang nilarang ko siya na yung pinaka-important down to the parang least important yan. so parang so dun muna tayo sa import ay parang mas important the supplements or what I usually take on and off season yung whey protein creatine Actually, ayun, yun yung dalawa. And then, ano, um, I would consider pre-workout na din. But, regard, but kailangan, depende on what time ako mag-workout. Kasi usually, I limit my caffeine talaga parang ma beyond 4 p.m. na. Wow, kasi baka di ako makatulog and all. Um, and then, there, the good thing naman, stim, may mga stim-free naman. Oo, oh, yun. Um, and, you sh- a fan din ako of mga single-ingredient supplements like yung, ano, um, Nutra Bio has l citrulline so yun yung parang for the vaso v- 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 yung pump and ano yung increase in blood flow so I take that um so uh, and then ngayon na I'm on prep dun na din papasok yung probably important na din siya na ano sa akin para insurance siya yung multivitamins I take kasi uh, sa, sa sobrang konti ng kinakain mo you possibly uh, possibly deficient ka talaga with some micronutrients tapo so now yung mga inad ko na parang I would say least important pero something na worth considering yung mga nakatulong sa sleep ko um hunger suppression and stress level so like first uh, yung ano um uh, I'm taking ash uh sorry five h five h five htp parang I've heard of ano anecdotal anecdotes and I've done so, yung mga sa research that research din na nababasa ko parang it helps um you get full so effective siya sa akin like when I take I when I eat my meal like I take one capsule and then so yun tapos another one is yung yuhimbin 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 um I do kasi it helps me naman suppress my appetite so, I usually, ano siya, ginagawa ko siya, fasted cardio or fasted walk. So, kasi usually pagkagising ko talaga, I'm so hungry. And sometimes, I need to strategize my meals. Parang kailangan ko siya i-push like 2 to 3 hours pa para, ano, I want to be more full throughout uh, sa later part of the day. So, ayun, um, I, when I take new himbine, yun, nakaka, yun, I, I don't, I think less about food. Ayun. Tapos, um, third one is yung mel- mel- melatonin. Yan. O, oh, if... Nakaka-help siya sa akin recently. Now, nung nag-change talaga ako ng calories down to 1.6, nahirapan ako matulog. And, and I start taking mel- melatonin, ano. Na, I get... Eh, mabilis ako makatulog. Do you also take magnesium? Ako, magnesium. Ah, yeah, magnesium. Magnesium, yeah. magnesium melatonin. Yun. That's the fourth oil. one pala. And I think that's a good thing. In, like, if you're going to buy it talaga sa mga, like, let's say, supplement, like, let's say, Nutrabayo. If you're going to buy sa Nutrabayo talaga, they know what, it's a need ng mga athletes talaga eh. Like, first up, like, multivitamins. If you go to Watson, like, to work here, like, you say multivitamins, you, yeah, it's a multivitamins. But the problem is, yung, like, vitamin C, feeding 10 milligrams lang, or like yung other na vitamins na hindi masyado kompleto. Whereas like if you go to Nutrabio, they know what uh, athlete needs. So ilalagay nila kung ano talaga yung land na kailangan mo. Let's say, athlete needs like 500 grams of vitamin C. Then vitamin D, kailangan yung 50. To other, wala siya. Kulang-kulang. May single ingredient talaga na option. Oh, and there's a single ingredient. Yeah. So I think yun yung, uh, if, uh, like for example, Nutrabio tend to give it like sa mga athletes na Ito yung bilhin nyo kasi, we studied it. Hindi siya parang drug company na they tend to for a general population. You know, like bodybuilder or like even athletes, may mga different needs yan eh. Hindi naman kasi, I mean, I can say na hindi tayo normal. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hindi tayo normal, di ba? Yeah. Like, no, our bodies need different things more than others yeah. because you're training harder and all other factors. So, you know, parang at least, 
bodybuilders and athletes like hindi siya normal na uh, kasi training wise and everything hindi siya in general population so we also have, like different needs naman talaga so yeah good thing we have nutrabio like to give our needs yeah. and you know it looks so much better when the entire stack is one brand of course yeah, <laughs> yeah. for me it's Medyo all ano, nutrabio <laughs> even like lion's mane I'm trying yeah, out right okay. now It's good. It's good. I'm sharp. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I just wanted to ask, what advice would you give to other amateur bodybuilders looking to optimize their nutrition and supplementation for better results? So first of all, some amateur na bodybuilders that just want to compete in terms of nutrition priorities, you know, is nutrition supplementation. Naman kasi it will follow lang. So even like puno kayo ng supplementation, if your nutrition yung medyo hindi maganda talaga, so that work out. So uh, supplementation is just going to add up loss nutrition if hindi niyo kaya ng hit ng nutrition like for example creatine monohydrate add niyo lang siya kasi hindi mo siya makukuha sa food you can get like creatine monohydrate 5 grams if you're gonna eat like 1 kg of dead meat which is impossible or uh, 3 kilos, three kilos yeah. pa diba? so impossible kasi masasayang yung macros mo so yun yung mga use na supplements talaga you just need to know what type of supplements you're going to take and if it safe ba yun I said there are other, especially in natural bodybuilding. Uh, it's I mean it's a bad practice. Naman talaga there are people saying that supplements to like tablet form or anything, but they tend to give na hindi naman talaga supplement. So mga gut kaya hindi next explain. Then once they take it, uh, wala na it's too late na. So know your supplements. Uh, prioritize talaga kung ano yung kailangan. Wag bilin ng bilin na. Eto nakita ko gamit niya na bilin ko to. So Study just first. study it first and know what you really need. And of course, your budget, right? Check your end. So be smart to buy the supplements, talaga. And don't be so trusted. So what? No matter bio, you can go for it. So advice for amateurs. Actually, I'm an amateur. To my co amateurs, you know, ah, uh, um, is to know your priorities, talaga. Like nail down the basics, muna, because I guess. Eric mentioned, yung iba talaga when they start parang anong supplement mo? So, yun yung talaga yung 5% lang, eh, di ba? Um, so, um, nail down your nutrition. Make sure that you're eating quality food, whole foods talaga. Tapos sa training naman, take, ta- take time to do your own research kasi hindi mo pwede lang gayahin yung mga ginagawa ng mga idols mo. Uh, yan kasi we've discussed it kanina. Iba-iba talaga yung ano, um, response ng katawan natin or yeah, we have different styles of training talaga na fit sa body natin. Um, and then, take it, ano din, slow and be patient. Yung, be realistic with your goals din. Like ako, I want to win pero if I don't win naman, as long as I've, I brought my best package on stage, saya na ako dun eh, na alam ko eh, day in, day out, di ba, kahit mahirap nga, wala kang motivation but you still made, made it through sa workouts mo. Saya na ako Parang ganun. So now, um, if you're pre- prepping na in a few, or you're comp- you're gonna be or stepping on stage in a few weeks, good luck to us. <laughs> you got Kaya this. To. I'll see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it would be being more intentional with things. Uh, you have to know what you need, right? I mean, that's that's kind of a given. But you need to know um, why you're doing things. Um, you need to know why you have to train a certain muscle group a certain way um so you, if by knowing the why is of like your training your nutrition your supplementation you can know um how to do it as well um so in a lot of cases people tend to at least like the amateurs the newbies the beginners they will tend to do whatever they see online um without understanding the true purposes of each one right? so by i guess it falls into place then uh when you're thinking about why a certain thing works for a certain person you get to apply it to yourself in you know as principles la- rather than just like directly ripping it off from you know your idols thank you so much for all the advice um i'm sure you inspired a lot of our listeners to join in <laughs> how can we follow you guys online um i am still at underscore regliffs on instagram like as we're gonna say this uh you can check my ig <laughs> okay <laughs> Keep posting. <laughs> Guys can follow me on Instagram at NJBoy and on TikTok at NJAba. Thank you so much for tuning in this episode of the Nutrition Depot podcast, Natural Bodybuilding 101. We learned so much from our amazing guests. 
<laughs> so please do follow us online at Nutrition Depot PH on Instagram as well as Facebook, Nutrition Depot. And of course, follow the podcast here on Spotify, Nutrition Depot. Click that follow button. See you next episode. Nutrition Depot, your fitness fuel.